oxygen is an essential part of all our lives and we all know how important it is. But did you know that up until 1774, oxygen was not even discovered? What did people even think up until then? In 1770, Joseph Priestley started performing some experiments to see how air is important for growing plants. Till then, no one even knew about photosynthesis. So, our man Joseph Priestley took a closed bell jar like this one and put a burning candle in it. Soon enough, he saw that the flame extinguished. This made him think, let's put an animal inside. So, he put a mouse inside this closed bell jar. Soon enough, the mouse started suffocating. So, he concluded that a burning candle and a breathing animal somehow damaged the air. For this, he took a mint plant. He put the mint plant, the mouse and the burning candle all together inside a closed bell jar. Surprisingly, nothing happened. The flame did not extinguish. The mouse did not suffocate. How is it so? He concluded that plants restore what breathing animals or a burning candle remove from the air. Plants are giving out a gas that supported the burning of candles as well as was very essential for the survival of animals. Massive amounts of gases get exchanged through the stomata which is present in the leaves of plants as long as the stomata remains open. Exchange of gases also takes place through loose tissues in the stems, roots, etc. So what have we learned today? We have learned about the relationship between air and photosynthesis. Until next time, happy learning!